Good morning, loves. Simply Courtney is here. I'm up at six something in the morning. Gotta take Elijah to the clinic and I gotta go to the doctor. So yeah, I'm up. I'm done getting ready. Well, not done, done getting ready. I'm just done doing my hair. I gotta put some pants on. I got two leggings on, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. What you think, babe? I'm talking about <coughs> Do y'all hear me? I have a cold. I don't think my hair is going to puff up. It grew a lot though, you know. It grew up on my hair. Racist. Guess what, you guys? My mom is driving us there. Wow. Scooby. Oh, chili toes. <laughs> what? My baby's very, very random. But y'all know that, right? Right. Yep. Um, Elijah, Zach, did y'all hear the news? <laughs> Mimi is taking us. We don't have to be in the cold, and you too, Zach. She's taking you to school. Yay! Wait, no, no, this is a prank. <laughs> Elijah think it's a prank, babe. <laughs> he said this is a prank. Bye. Mm, no, see you later, baby. Zach, bye. I don't like that. Let's run. This is a prank, 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 prank. My babe is so sweet. He stayed up the whole entire night just so I could get some sleep because Sky always wakes up and be wanting milk and stuff and he stayed up just for that and he stayed up to get the kids up too he's so tired that's so sleep <coughs> he didn't want me waking up because Sky be crying he be wanting food and stuff I saw a mom. Mimi is really taking us. Yep. This is a prank. <laughs> I heard y'all talk. I heard them talking about it. Like what? What they were saying? That you want to be all in their business. What they were saying. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's how it did. What? They. Mom said Mimi picking us up. That's the only thing they were talking about. <sighs> yeah. That's what you and they did. Not like <sighs> this is Terry wanted to wave you guys. So if I um call her, she gonna say yes. How you gonna call her? What's her number? Seven seven zero. Two, five, six. Okay, that, that, leave it. Don't be, <laughs> her number can't be exposed, Elijah. <laughs> you won't phone call her? No. The whole world. And she had that number for years, you guys. Yes, you would have had to make her change her number. He had the number wrong anyway, you guys. No, no that is I, I not it. it. I know it. I know it. Mimi wanted y'all to learn her number? Yep. No. <laughs> why you, she, why she wanted y'all to learn her number, Zach? Come in. Come in the camera. So if it's an emergency, we can call her, but we don't have an emergency phone. <laughs> <laughs> you told her that? Well, let me stop this because this is going to be really long because I have to vlog when we when I get to the doctor and stuff. Um, I'm probably going to vlog a little bit at your clinic. I think they already seen your clinic appointment. Say hey, man. Hello. Elijah nasty, y'all. What you said, Elijah? <laughs> we over here talking about pies and stuff. Coconut pies. Yeah, coconut pies. <laughs> and what you said, Elijah? Roach pie. Nasty. <laughs> Legs sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> you 
protein. 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 No. Yeah, protein. And crickets in there. You know, I went fishing with crickets. Yeah. Yeah, they be taking them things off the hook. I don't like fishing with them. I like fishing with the worms better. Y'all have been fishing a long fish, time. Fish, fish, yeah, like crickets. were talking about that. You know, you and John and DK went fishing. Yeah, he was talking about that. Mm -hmm. Fish. Yeah, I was there Maybe. when he caught his first I, fish. Not really. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Fish like crickets. Yeah. What? They slide off the hook too easily, though. All you gotta do is hook it by the brain. Hook it by the brain? Yeah. You nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah. Have you ever been late going to the clinic? Uh, no. Uh, I called. Um, well, last time I was gonna be late, I just called and rescheduled. that this heat and my son stayed over there the night. It's still cold in that apartment. The heat is not working good. You're saying the heat is on, but it's just not working. It's just not heating, Tell him, it's not heating up the apartment. It be cutting off. We had to keep going that? down there and lighting up the pilot. That's what like, it is. It's it keep cutting light, off and keep... then sometimes it just blow cold air out. They say that they gonna come fix it. They come over there, he stay like 10 minutes. It stay on the time he come, and then he leave, it it stop working. It's, it's just broken, I need a whole new one. So you, you was over there, you said you was over there Thanksgiving, so it's- It was cold, it was cold, uh-huh. I was over there Thanksgiving. My other son spent the night over there. Yeah, he came home. He said, mama, it is cold in Courtney's apartment. I thought she told me that when you was at Thanksgiving, it actually was all working well. It was okay, I guess, because it was, we was cooking okay. in the kitchen and stuff. Yeah, that uh -huh. that's why that. I had the oven on in the kitchen. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All right, I'll give them a call, okay? Look, I, I really need to get this done. I mean, really, stay on there behind, get a new unit in there. Because anytime it keep blowing out, you go down there and light it, it blow out again, and then it's low. It didn't you know small children. And then I was cold down there myself. And they down there trying to look right, at yeah, TV. You know, yeah, that, that's, okay, let me, let me give them a call back. We moved the TV upstairs now because nobody don't want to be there. I know you have a problem. I thought that day you said it was okay, but she was actually, so, all right. Let me let me give them a call back because I thought everything was okay with it. So I talked to you uh, a couple okay. days ago. Call me back. All right. Call me back and let me know right. what the deal is, okay? All right, I, I call them several staff. Somebody, all thing I can do is have somebody go down there to look at it. Okay, now, listen, right. okay, they, we, how many times we done sent somebody out there to take a look at it? I, I have no idea, but... I mean, too case, many you know, times. I updated the case. Yeah, we updated the case that, because that, I can't get a hold of your daughter, but I got a hold with you, so I want to make sure everything was okay. But then that day you told me everything was okay, that's what I put in the notes. Oh, now, God. I will call them back to prepare that yeah, it's not okay. I just... And court, man, um, actually, I need to... Can I get a good number from the, from the uh, court who actually lives there so I can contact her? I think sometimes if I can't get you, you can't get her. And I think that's kind of cool. You have a number I can get to, to you? Yeah, you it's uh, six seven eight 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 one. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it again. Six seven eight 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 one. Okay. Hold on, I gotta find her. Give me a call back, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hopefully, don't be doing what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, when, I, when I drop you off, I'm gonna look in the, uh, my tablet and find that other apartment and see, call and get some information on it. Now I have to call AT&T and stuff. Find out what's going on with them. Huh? Yeah, call them back. 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 Call What happened? It, the piano was doing it by itself. Teen Titans.
That's because it can do that. Oh, look at this Christmas tree, you guys. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Oh, I'm tired. Well, you guys were at clinic. I'm not really gonna be vlogging here. I'm just letting y'all know. How can it do that? <coughs> piano is made like that. That's not magic. It's made like that to be able to play on its own. He's getting water. Oh, we're really late, you guys. It's like 10 o'clock. We supposed to be here at nine, like an hour late. Which one? Whoa, what happened to it? <laughs> okay, turn around. Let's just do this. Missy, you are a big boy. Let's just get this thing done. Come on, Elijah. And over with, get okay? it over with. I don't want to. I understand. Come on, don't, don't move. Don't Elijah. move. Don't move. Don't I don't move. want to fall asleep. You have to. Somebody, should I get someone to hold you? I know you got this now. Come on. Don't you move away from Just me. quickly, Elijah. Okay. And hey, Elijah. Come see, on now. Do. He knows. We were just... Are you done? Yes. Oh. <laughs> we, we, we already had this conversation. Oh. How was that? Tell me the truth. How was it? You will talk to me. How was it? <laughs> I know it was <laughs> Oh, my gosh, you guys. I couldn't read none of the... Um, the lines. My eyes are so, so blurry. It's true. And now I have to wear this because I've been coughing and stuff. So they, they got me wearing this. My hair is so jacked up. Now just here with me? Yeah. They said they're going to rule out any emergencies. So they're going to see if there's any emergencies and then point me in the right direction. So. Mom, if you just message me. You guys, they say I'm in the room. I'm just in the hallway. <coughs> they say this is my room. See how they do me? <laughs> Man, these folks, don't, they, they don't know what's wrong with me. I know they're going to send me the grade. She over to Thomas. I'm going to talk to the lady about how you can get a, a grady card. they not even helping me here. I'm not going nowhere else. I'm just gonna go blind, oh well. Well, you guys, now um, the doctor talked to me again. I have to get labs and a chest x-ray. A chest? Yeah, they have to take an x-ray of my chest. I don't know why. But I'll let y'all know. Any more updates? I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. Okay, you guys, I'm in a room now. I just got my chest x-ray done. Uh-oh. What? What? You take a shot. I'm not scared of that stuff. Let me see what they got over here. Elijah talking about I'm going to take a shot. Oh, because they're going to take blood from me. I already knew that. That's labs right there. You know how I be taking you to labs and they just take blood? That's what they're going to do with me. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be taking a shot like you did a flu shot. I know. Yeah. I'm not scared of that thing. Yeah, needles don't scare me. What scares you? Not needles. I'm not scared of coming to the doctor. I just don't like coming because they'll never tell me what's going on. It'll be a wasted trip. No, hmm? I know what animal you scared of. What? They come in. Hi. We do some blood work, okay? Okay. Um, you have a urine test too. Can you do that real quick? Yes, I can do that. About to take my urine test and my blood work. What's a urine? When you pee in the cup, remember you had to pee in the cup today? I was just talking about that. <laughs> what about an elephant? I like those. They love them. elephants. Think humans are cute. What? Yeah. But you guys, I'm in that. What kind of toy I have? They ain't even give you no Happy Meal box. You guys. Oh, I know how to do it now. I don't want to stay overnight. They just showed me. I want to 
just came with my gift, guys. And it's messed up, because they want to help you then. They want to help you when you got insurance. They'll help you. That's a shame, boy. Because before I had, before they found out I had insurance, they weren't trying to do nothing. They were trying to send me to Grady. But now that they see that I have insurance, they're giving me the paper so I can call Emory, our doctors and stuff. They do full dirty, boy. It help pay for you to go to the doctor and stuff. And y'all, every time I blink, I just see floaters. I looked on um, Google that they do check to x to see if you got cancer. You guys, I have an update for y'all. I've been moved to Emory's Eye Clinic. <coughs> There's wheelchair thingy, waiting. Elijah went to the bathroom. So yeah, I'm just waiting to see what they say. Whatever. So you're the eye doctor here? No, I'm one of the medical technologists. We'll do a few things. And so she says, this is the third episode? Yes. And you're in the hospital just for the eyes? Nothing else? Right. I told them it, it has to be something going on with my whole entire body for this to happen. Because when I went to the eye, doc eye doctor, he said it could be some kind of autoimmune something. And nobody's ever tested you for that? Blood test or anything like that? Right, no. But um, they did some labs and stuff today since I've been here. Date of birth? 0 29 1989 Okay. One more down there. I'll be right back. Okay. You guys, they're about to be shining lights in my eyes. They're going to be shining the lights in your eyes? I think so. That's what they did before. It hurt so bad, too. Chinese food, too. We hungry, ain't we? I said, we hungry, ain't we? <laughs> okay, you guys, I put the eye drops in my eye. I just did the little test. Couldn't really see the letters on the thing. Um, he put my eyes into this. He said he could see a lot of stuff that's going on in there. That's a little microscope. <gasps> in my eyes, yeah. Um, my eyes feel so numb. <laughs> the eye drops make them feel like that. I think he put that in there so when he shines the light in there, it wasn't, it won't really hurt, you know. They said something like uveitis or something like that. I don't know. Gave me eye drops. That's it. Okay. Did the eye drops work? Yes, they work, and then it comes back. Okay. Did they ever want you to like follow up? Yes, I believe so. But at that time, I didn't have any insurance. Okay. Gotcha. So it was hard for me to do that. Do you have insurance now? Mm -hmm. Great. Because you're actually this area of the clinic. I mean, I'm a resident that'll do all the kind of triage things. Uh, but these are the eye doctors here that would probably follow you over time and mm -hmm. help treat this so it doesn't continue to flare up and then require you to go to the ER because that's kind of a pain in the butt, probably. Yes. Um, so follow up for things like this is how uh, it's kind of the most helpful thing for you. Okay. Uh, unless it's something different, but it sounds like it's probably a, another flare of what you were having before. <clears throat> and I went to the eye doctor for this. They didn't know. Yeah. They said it could be some kind of autoimmune disease mm -hmm. or something. <sighs> yeah, generally for this, uh, you need to order some blood tests. Did they draw any blood today, do you know? Yes, they drew the blood. Okay. Lots of blood. They say even weird tests was being drawn. Exactly. Too. Yeah, because a lot of different weird things can uh, show up looking the exact same inside the eye. So we mm -hmm. need to test for a bunch of different things. Okay. Even if it's weird, something like syphilis that we don't think you have, but we need to make sure you don't have it. Okay. They keep talking about rheumatoid arthritis or something. 
My mom has that. Do you? I mean, you're pretty young for that. Can I see your hand? I don't think I have any arthritis. Okay. Yeah. No, that's tender. No, none of those joints are tender? No. Okay. It improves when you give it prednisone, uh, but that's not treating kind of the underlying thing. Uh, any uh, stomach issues, like diarrhea, constipation, anything like that? Mm -mm. Okay. Any skin rashes? Okay. And overall, you feel well? Like, any difficulty breathing? No, everything feels Everything's great totally except for the eyes. Except for the eyes. Hmm. Because uh, a lot of the things that cause this, they're oh, the strange th diseases that also damage other parts of the body. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important for us to figure out what this is. That's why we keep ordering all these tests. Okay. Uh, it can be tricky to figure out exactly what's causing it. So that's why we kind of cast this wider net. Okay. Um, so we're going to order some more blood tests. So they're going to draw some more blood. Uh, and then two different drops. Uh, potentially the same ones as before. I'm going to try to have them give you a stronger steroid. You had the prednisolone last time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do something called Durazel. It's just a little bit stronger. Uh, if they don't have that in the ER, I'll tell them to just give you the prednisolone because they should have that. Okay. But I want you to go home with something that you can start taking right away. That okay. way you don't go to the pharmacy and then find out like your insurance doesn't cover something and then you don't. Have... And then we want you to, we want to see you back in a week. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of the most important part. Okay. Because we, we just don't want you to really like permanently lose your vision. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So you guys, I'm still here at the doctor. I'm about to end this vlog, but before I end this vlog, I'm gonna tell y'all what they said. They said I have a whole lot of inflammation in my eyes, severe inflammation. I'm going blind because of that. Uh, every time that this happens, which is this is the third time that this happened, every time that this happens, my eyesight gets worse. So I'm getting prescribed some eye drops, some even stronger eye drops than I had before. And then I have to come back in a week. So, I will bring y'all along with me when I come back. I hate how the lighting looks like that. But, um, yep, you guys, that's it. I don't know what's going on, just like y'all don't know. So, stay tuned for the next video. I love you guys. Bye. Wait, loves, wait. Hit that subscribe button for me.